hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a database dynamically in SQL server using C sharp and here we got the output of that core let's enter the database name which is Charan DB I want to create the database name Charan DB but before create this button control let's check in my SQL Server Management Studio, there is no any Charan DB database. See, let's create. Create database. Here we got a message database Charan DB is created successfully. Let's check in my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm refreshing the folder expanding the databases folder notice here the Charan DB database is added dynamically if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio I am expanding the root folder as well as databases folder now my aim is I want to create a new database into this SQL Server Management Studio dynamically using C Sharp code. Let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET application. Go to File, New Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is create database dynamically click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty ok and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding a new web form page right click the project name add web form the web form name is create database okay and here we got the web form of the source page now between this form and due tag I'm adding center tag h1 how to create database into SQL Server dynamically using C sharp horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I am adding one text box control, one button control, and one label control to display the message. Let's enter the database name I'm adding text box control go to the bottom text box control after that I'm adding button control I'm changing the property of the text button to create database Break. after that I'm adding one label control and from this label control I'm deleting the property text that's it we have done the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the button control it will generate the button click event now in the source page sorry in the code behind I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data dot SQL client using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces now I'm adding the connection string in the web.config file open solution explorer in the web.config file open that one now between this configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my 
apply connection connection string is equals to data source is equals to in the data source we have to add the server name SQL server name is user PC SQL Express this is my SQL server name you have to add your SQL server name semicolon database see here I'm we are creating a new database but in the data source I'm adding the database property which is a master semicolon the master database contains all the system level configuration of SQL server after that integrated security is equals to true provide a name which is system dot data dot SQL client that's it we have added the connection string in the web.config file now switch to the code behind now in the button click key event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection string between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection main con string SQL query is equals to create database plus I'm adding the text box control ID because we are entering the database name in the text box control text box one dot text property it's a text property semicolon make sure don't do any gaps here sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters the first one is a sql query comma the second one is a connection object which is sql con sql con dot open method let's close the connection string close method Between open and close, I'm adding SQL com dot execute non query method. After that, once the created, once the database is created successfully, I want to display the message label one, which is a label control ID dot text is equals to database. plus plus text box control text box one dot text is created successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part to create a database in SQL server dynamically Google Chrome And here we got the output of that call. Let's enter the database name, which is CharanDB. I want to create the database name CharanDB, but before create this button control, let's check in my SQL Server Management Studio. There is no any CharanDB database. See, let's create. Create database. Here we got a message database Charan DB is created successfully. Let's check in SQL Server Management Studio. I'm refreshing the folder, expanding the databases folder. Notice here the Charan DB database is added dynamically. That's it.